okay so good afternoon students so uh, during the last session or last i mean lesson uh, we discussed about systems right so we defined the term system and also uh, we have taken some example for systems and more importantly we uh, identified the elements in uh, some systems right we have taken uh, atm uh, fingerprint reader even uh, qr code i uh, the mobile phone i didn't explain that mobile phone but uh, i have given the elements for mobile phone in that particular uh, tutorial so hope you referred that one so even a smartphone or mobile phone can be a system because it has uh, elements right it has inputs process and output okay so that part is over i explained uh, everything i took enough time for explaining about systems right so at the latter part of the last class uh, i explained about the term ict right? in fact that is our subject too right so i explain about information and uh, i started to explain about information and communication technology but explained only it information technology right i didn't explain this one i explain only it so what is it it's too simple i as i told you earlier right there is no need for memorizing anything just understand so in every system data are converted into information even you can say that inputs are uh, processed into output everything is same right so data need to be converted or data are converted to information so to convert the data into information definitely you need a technology in in such systems but since the type of data that you input to the systems are different definitely the technology also different right the technology which is uh, applied or which is used in such systems definitely different so various technologies that you need for converting the data into information uh, are called information and sorry information technologies that is called information technology look at that term information technology which means the technology that you need for taking information so i can simply say that in atm there is an information technology used for converting your data like pin or the amount into uh, information like money and receipt even in a fingerprint reader right the fingerprint that is data that is converted to information like that uh, arrival time or departure departure time into it so don't forget that is it very simple the technology needed for converting the data to information right okay i explained that one uh, on the other day right so let's take that term information and communication technology as i told you earlier this term has two different phrases information technology as well as communication technology right but i uh, but uh, as a, as a term we we have that as information and communication technology but it must be information technology plus communication technology right so we discussed about information technology right look once an information is obtained you can exchange that okay you you can sh share that with others we do that right we we normally do that so once an information is obtained we can share such information with others for sharing such information with others you need different technology for an example assume that you 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 have some information now you converted the data to information so now you have the information you need to share that with your friends maybe friends around the world right need such information so you need to uh, pass that you need to sh share that maybe some groups uh, i mean posting in some groups like viber or whatsapp or facebook or google so you need some uh, some sort of technology because for such such sharing or such i mean uh, trans uh, transmitting you need such some technologies such technologies can be taken as communication technology you need some maybe internet or some other other things are needed right such Uh, things can be communication technology have you understood it is for converting the data to information once information is obtained that can be 
share, share with the others. For sharing that information with the others, you need an additional technology. You need another technology that is called communication technology. So now you can easily define the term ICT because you know the term IT. Now you understood that uh, CT, which means communication technology. So time to combine these two. So how can we define? So various technologies used for converting the data to information as well as sharing them with the others can be information and communication technology. Right, so again and again, I tell you not to memorize anything, right? Just understand. So you need some technologies for converting the data to information, that is IT. That information must be uh, exchanged, right? So for that purpose also, you need another technology, that is communication technology. So when you combine these two, you can simply define your term ICT. Okay, so this is ICT. So hope you have some idea now. So, you know, ICT is not a small circle. You can't say that it is only studying computer or having computer. So it beyonds that mark because it has IT there, IT there which means converting the data to information. And also you need some uh, technologies for communication purpose, especially maybe internet, maybe networks and other things, okay? So I don't want to take much time. So hope everyone understands, okay, right. Look. ICT is used everywhere nowadays. If you take our society, so we are we are in a society which is surrounded by so many fields, right? So you know, in our in our society, you can see uh, education as a field, as a sector, right? So we are living in that particular society, right? Even you can uh, have uh, medicine or health sector, right? The hospitals, doctors. So th that is health. And also you have transportation. So I'm talking about various fields or various sectors in our society. So transportation is there. Even you have, I mean, agriculture, you know, that is in inevitable, right? Agriculture is there. Even we have fishing, right? Fishing is, is a kind of industry, right? Fishing there. In farmhouses, right? You know, farming is important. So you have to grow or you have to, I mean, keep uh, uh, some of some of the animals and other things there. So farmhouses are there, especially how cows and other things. And even uh, you need or you have uh, some other other fields like uh, sports, right? Sport is one of the field, right? And also, um, uh, yes, uh, business is very important. You have business as a field. Industry, you know, industry is something different than business because business is regarding purchasing and uh, I mean selling, but uh, industry is the place where things are manufactured. So industry is there. So our society has so many fields. I have listed some of them, but you know, there may be more than this. All these fields use ICT for their day-to-day, -day, I mean, activities, not only education, health sector uses, right, transportation uses, all these fields use ICT. Now try understanding, right? ICT is not, not bound in a small device, right? Even using a computer is ICT. Using a mobile phone is a kind of ICT application, right? So it, it's big. Everything, the modern, everything that you use as modern technology can be taken as ICT, right? That may be a very short idea. Okay, now come to the point. So as I mentioned, we have ICT in all these fields because all these fields uh, get benefit from ICT. That may be the reason why all these fields use ICT. Can anyone tell me the reason for using ICT in all these fields? Can you give, my, one, one, uh, can you give me one reason? Why do, you, why do we use ICT in all these sectors? Anybody? This is not the hardest question to ask, right? So my answer, right? Very simple. So why ICT everywhere? To convert data and information among people. That may be okay, but but uh, tell me, give me the benefit, right? What, what is the benefit behind? We we all use ICT in all these fields. Maybe your your point is okay, right? We convert the data to information, but 
what's what's the what are the benefits behind provide fast solutions providing fast solutions okay let's discuss later give me another another benefit easy to work easy to work okay let's discuss any any other answers bavitra see bavitra all the people can get information uh, by using ict hmm okay any other answers any different answers we can save the time save the time which means speed right okay right so let me explain right so you are almost correct right but look uh, it would be easy when we take applications of ict in various fields that is the thing which we are i mean heading towards so in all these fields ict is there because maybe for two main reasons okay there may be uh, different reasons but there may be two main reasons one yes you mentioned that one Uh, the first student uh, who i mean answered uh, ict gives fast solutions speedy solutions for our day to day life problems or for day to day life needs we can easily justify right so look here uh, you uh, see so earlier you might have i mean uh, problems in withdrawing the money in banks you had to go there and you had to be in a, in a queue for hours and then only you you could get that money it took time right because you know banks were not computerized at that particular time maybe i'm i'm talking about some years back right but now things changed you have atm even inside of the bank you know things are computerized that is simply ict so now within minutes you can uh, fulfill your task you can withdraw any any amount so now what happens ict is there to to give that particular solution now it is fast you don't need to be there for for hours right maybe minutes within minutes you can so that is important speed solution you can take any system for justification but i have taken only bank even take a look at your fingerprint reader so all you need to do is just place the fingerprint that's enough you don't need to i mean worry any any worry about anything just put the fingerprint on the, on that machine the rest of the thing will be done that machine right so it is very fast okay that may be very important thing the next one uh, i think you didn't uh, mention such one maybe you answer some also okay but i i am focusing on two major advantages right the second one is you know the the solution is perfect right it is it is accurate you know it is a it is a technology so it never makes mistakes so you can get perfect outcome perfect output uh, by using that technology take a look at the bank right so when you you withdraw money the they, you know there there is a calculation needed so everything is done by the machine even we we never i mean recheck that we just take the money i mean uh, go home none of us uh, like to i mean uh, do that or like to perform that arithmetic calculation manually so we feel that these work these things are done by the computer so computer never make mistakes even think about a supermarket right so once you once you receive that uh, receipt from the supermarket nobody wants to add the figures manually we feel that the bill which has been produced by that system is correct because it's a computer related things there may be barcode reader computer you know everything is ict have you understood right so that may be the reason why we uh, we use ict even take a look at a medical field you know in medical field there's there may be so many diseases are diagnosed by using devices so when we were we are diagnosed by a device we trust it right we believe that the, that particular diagnosis is correct because that has been done by a machine but if that has uh, if that was done by a doctor sometimes we don't trust it 
So you know, accuracy, accuracy is there, which means the perfect output. Okay. So these are the two reasons why ICT is used everywhere. Okay. What are the two reasons? ICT provides faster solution, speedy solution. At the same time, ICT gives accurate solution, perfect solution. Okay. There may be some other advantages too, but I'm not going to discuss such thing, right? For me, these two are enough. Okay, right. So to get such benefits, ICT is used everywhere. In fact, ICT is used in uh, such areas or sectors. Hereafter, we have to take the role of ICT or application of ICT in all these fields. I have listed some of the sectors, right? Like education, medicine, right? Health, sorry, uh, transportation, agriculture. So we will have to take all these sectors and see how ICT is, ICT is used there or how ICT is applied there. So definitely it takes time because one by one, we have to take the sectors. Maybe from this point, almost at the end of the first unit, we will have to discuss such thing. It takes maybe three or four classes because it, 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 it is big, right? Because we need to discuss so many fields. And also we need to discuss uh, most of the application, most of the important applications in each field. So definitely it takes time. So try understanding everything. Don't need, no need to memorize such thing because it's, it's something which is related to our day-to-day -day life because we are related to education field. We are related to health by right? transportation also very closer to us. Agriculture also not, not far away. So all these fields are very, very closer for us. So it may not be hard for remembering such thing. Okay. So hereafter we will have to take all these fields. Okay. These are the fields uh, to be taken. Look here. So we have to take the medical field or health sector. Okay, uh, health sector, uh, we have to take the health and discuss health or medicine. Okay, that may be our first field to be discussed. Uh, so we will take health and uh, discuss how ICT is applied there, right? Then after that, we will have to take education. So education is also, uh, I mean, uh, benefited by ICT, let's discuss. Yes, transportation. Okay. So we have to discuss the transportation in detail and then uh, fishing. Right. You know, even uh, maybe years ago, uh, fishermen used different ideas, maybe traditional method for fishing, but now things changed. They also use modern devices. So definitely ICT is there later discuss. Right. And also we have to discuss about farmhouses. Right, farmhouses, yes, business, business, yes, as well as industry, industry, and also uh, entertainment. You know, entertainment is something different than the other fields because other fields are very, I mean, very important for people so you may you may think that uh, entertainment is something which uh, really um, we, i mean which we don't really need but you know at the end of the day you know entertainment also some some something which we need because for a, for an individual these fields are important and also you need some leisure time activities so we can take that as a, as one of the sectors right fields entertainment even uh, government 
So government can be a sector because it may be an institution, biggest institution, but it is a sector. Let's discuss, right? Government also uses ICT in numerous ways. So let's discuss, right? So these are some of the some of the sectors uh, which are benefited by ICT. Okay, so let's take one by one and discuss uh, the applications of ICT used there. Okay, so starting from medicine, look. So you know, medicine is something which is very related to us, very close to us. Uh, every one of us uh, has experiences in visiting hospitals, right? I mean, uh, observing such uh, devices used there. So sometimes we have uh, we have first-hand experiences. Even sometimes you you don't have, but you I mean you heard about it, right? So definitely you have some experiences. Okay. So let's take some of the devices or so some of the equipments used in medical fact, uh, sector, right? So let's discuss. I'm, I'm going to give a brief idea about such devices because remember we are studying ICT, not we are not medical students, so we are we are not studying any medical related things. So uh, I mean, having such names and their their functions is more than enough. So you don't need to study uh, in detail. Just understand the, the function of that particular device. Okay, let's take. Right, have a look at this. So let's start from, right, let's start uh, from this one. MRI, right, uh, magnetic resonance imaging. So MRI, so what is it? You, you have some experiences, right? So try sharing with me. So what is it? What kind of device is this MRI? Scanning brain. Yes, it, it is a scanner, right? It's a scanner. But uh, why do we use this scanner? I, I expect that answer, scanner. So what's, what's the reason for having uh, MRI scanner? Anybody? Scanning the brain. Scanning the brain. Uh, no, it is not only for brain. Any others? Scanning, Scanning the blood cells. The identifying cancer cells. Digital okay. inter internal body organ. Yes. Let, let me explain. So MRI is for uh, scanning your internal parts, so internal organs. It may be useful, I mean, I did diagnosing cancers or other things, right? But you can't say that it is only for diagnosing cancer or other things. So MRI uh, can give some, uh, I mean, scanning images, clear pictures about the internal organs. Because, you know, when uh, doctors need to diagnose some diseases, sometimes it is too hard for diagnosing your diseases by, uh, I mean, by looking your, looking at your symptoms. So definitely they need to scan your internal organs. So you, you are, the whole body, right? The whole body, it, it, it doesn't belong only, uh, doesn't belong only uh, one part. It belongs to the entire part. So all the internal organs can be scanned. Okay, wait until I take the second one. I take the second device and uh, I mean, come back and explain. So look here. This is CAT, computer axial tomography, sometimes called uh, CT, computer tomography. Computer axial tomography or computer tomography, uh, same, CT or CAT. Look, it looks like uh, the MRI. Look at the, even look, look at the, I mean, uh, that shape of the device, almost same, right? So it looks like a, a big device and see, uh, the, the patient can be uh, I mean, scanned by pushing him or her inside. So here also same thing, almost similar. Even their functions also almost same. CT also scans the internal organs, internal parts of a human body. But doctors use MRI and uh, CT for different purposes. Let me explain in detail. But uh, for, for someone who studies in grade 10, uh, I mean, actually, these are not important for you. Sometimes it's uh, depth.
but definitely you should be aware of this because these are very related to our day to day life. So we should understand some of the things about these two. Look, let me explain some. Look here, uh, as I told you earlier, almost similar, maybe the shape of the device and also the functions also same, but there may be some significant differences. The main difference is the technology that they use for scanning. But here in MRI, as the name implies, it uses magnetic fields, strong magnetic fields, as well as radio waves for scanning, right? So when they want to scan a person, they use both magnetic magnetic field, not only the I mean weak magnetic, it, it is very strong, strong magnetic fields, as well as radio waves. Right. So by using such technologies, scanning takes place. But here in uh, CAT or CT, there is no radio wave or there is no magnet. So here they use X-rays, right? X-rays, that is the technology used for scanning. That may be the difference uh, in terms of technology, right? In terms of technology that they use. And also the other thing, uh, CT scanner can give some three dimensional colorful outputs, right? 360 degree outputs, right? It must be a, a 3D shape. So it must be very good for, I mean, diagnosing because when they get 3D pictures, 3D scanned images, doctors can easily diagnose. So such thing uh, is available in CT scanner. At the same time, uh, you know, uh, okay, I tell you some, some uh, basic idea. Generally, if doctors uh, has, uh, I mean, doctors have some suspicion in your body, they recommend you to take CT scanner first because CT scanner may be cheap and also it may be fast, right? Uh, maybe in some urgent cases, you need to scan your body uh, within a short period of time, maybe minutes. So this is very fast. It takes around one minute for scanning, right, CT scanner. So in some uh, accident, accident cases, right, so you must be very serious. So you need to be, I mean, scanned quickly. So definitely it is CT, right? Uh, and also it is uh, sometimes CT scanner is very fast and also it is not uh, painful. You cannot, uh, I mean, uh, feel any pain there. But when it comes to MRI, Mostly doctors for M, uh, doctors go for MRI when they want some detailed pictures or detailed scanned images. You know, the MRI is, is very perfect than CT. So sometimes doctors, if doctors are unable to diagnose your disease by, by using uh, the pictures taken from CT, then they recommend for MRI because MRI can produce detail images so they, they may be the quality and everything may be high so they they recommend for uh, mri and you know mri is slightly expensive right mri scanning takes uh, more than uh, ct and also mri uh, takes more time time uh, it, it takes time and also there may be big noise right you you might have some comfortableness there uncomfortableness so it is very uh, noisy MRI scanner, but uh, so just to understand this idea for better for first time, it is CT scan for diagnosing anything CT scan. But if, if you are unable to uh, diagnose such thing, better go for MRI because MRI can produce some detailed images. Okay. I tell you one more thing. Mostly uh, CT is recommended for bone fractures. Uh, maybe yes, as I men mentioned, as you mentioned, like uh, diagnosing the cancer. For some other things, uh, CT is always recommended, especially for bone fractures and other things. Uh, but uh, this one, uh, MRI is mostly recommended for uh, some damages uh, in soft tissues. You know, in brain, sometimes tissues, soft tissues can be damaged. Maybe uh, in some other areas, maybe blood cells, right? There may be some problem. So for some, for such purposes, doctors recommended recommend uh, to have MRI. But nevertheless, 
both can be used for both purposes. Even you can use MRI for, I mean, fractures and other things. Okay, but this may be the idea. So try understanding uh, for you, for a student who learns in grade 10, uh, is expected to know only the technology, right? Remember the technology here in MRI, radio waves and magnets. They are in CT, it's, it's X-ray, right? Uh, and both can scan your internal organs. That's more than enough, okay? Right, so, so here I have shown two images uh, scanned by a CT scanner and MRI scanner, uh, the ima liver image, right? The image of liver. So here it is a CT, it is the image scanned from uh, MRI, only for you, I mean, idea, right? Okay. Right, so before I go to the other one, let me show a small video clip. Sometimes showing a video clip on online uh, is a problem because, you know, uh, uh, it takes uh, the speed of the internet. Sometimes it is a problem. Okay, let's see. Here's the MRI scanner. If you need to have an MRI scan, you'll be brought into a room much like this. You lie on the table, you go into the middle, you come back out again, and you get changed. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes to have a scan. I'll show you the table going in. As you can see, there's plenty of room, and it's well lit. Once it's finished, you can bring you back out again. Obviously you have to imagine the person. And the table comes down. And the scan is complete. It's as simple as that. All right, so this is how it works. So I hope that you can see uh, something there, even though it is slow, you can observe something. So you know that patient is there, so he has to be pushed inside. So once uh, he is inside, the whole body can be scanned, right? So it is MRI, but even CT also seems to be safe. Right? Maybe technology and, and uh, the, the purpose is different, but the way of scanning uh, and also shape of the device almost yeah. okay so mri and ct magnetic resonance imaging that is mri it uses magnetic fields and uh, radio wave for scanning the internal organs right the most important more importantly it produces a detailed images of your organs right specially recommended for soft tissues and uh, brain cells maybe uh, blood blood cells, everything, right? On the other hand, CT uses X-ray for scanning. And also CT can produce three-dimensional images, right? Mostly it is recommended for uh, bone-related injuries, bone fractures, sometimes for cancer diagnosing, right? Remember these things, okay, right. So let's take the other one. I have explained two devices. Look. 
So hope everyone knows this ECG, electrocardiogram or electrocardiography. Why? What is it? What's the purpose? Try discussing, it's important. Why do you use ECG? Including the heartbeat, heartbeat yes. rate. Yes, it is for uh, ex uh, examining your heart, heart, examining your heartbeat, right? So, uh, because when uh, you have some uh, cardio related problems, definitely your heartbeat must be checked, right? Your, your heart functioning must, must be checked. So this may be the commonly used device for checking your heartbeat, electrocardiogram. So as you can see here, uh, the, on the chest of this person, uh, some, uh, I mean, equipments are fitted. So they are related, I mean, they are uh, also connected with the ECG machine. So his heartbeat can be examined and also that heartbeat is registered uh, in the computer. You can see that heartbeat as a graph on the, on the, I mean, monitor or on the TV. And also, you know, heartbeat can be uh, taken as a print on a piece of paper. So I hope that you have some experiences, even you, you might have seen such heartbeats on a paper at your home, right? You may have elders at your home, definitely they have, right? So this is ECG. So I will show you uh, one thing, look here. Look here, this is, uh, this is the hard, uh, this is the graph obtained from ECG. Right, so is ECG produces such, uh, such, uh, I mean, graph as, as the output of the heartbeat. This is a printed material, right? This, this should be printed on a piece of paper. So doctors have to uh, analyze this one, have to study this one in order to, I mean, uh, take a conclusion of, about your heartbeat. Okay. So ECG for examining your heartbeat. Right. Then we have another one called EEG, electroencephalography. That is ECG, cardio, you know, cardio is hard, right? So it is ECG, but this is electroencephalography, EEG. How, how it looks like? Tell me. What's the purpose behind? Why do you? Why do they use them? You can study the activities. picture, right? Record the activities of brain, brain. Yes, it is re regarding brain. So it, it it is used for I mean checking or examining or even you can say recording the brain activities because when there may be some disorders in your brain, it has to be checked. It has to be monitored. It has to be recorded. So doctors recommend. EEG for recording your brain activities for taking uh, some uh, conclusion, right? That's why EEG is there. You can see that uh, the that pictures, right? The pictures tell the story. So EEG for examining your brain, right? So remember that. I don't want a detailed description, right? Give me some uh, basic idea. That's enough. Okay, then. You know, this is very, uh, very common, uh, common uh, device, right? Every, every home may have such thing. Blood sugar testing machine. So as the name implies, it is used for testing the blood sugar. So, you know, earlier you had to go to the labs or hospitals for testing your blood sugar. But nowadays it is possible to check your blood sugar level by staying at home. These small devices are very cheap, right? So you don't need to pay a lot. So they are very affordable devices, right? You can buy them. And also they do, they do not need high technology for operation. You can, I mean, uh, use such devices uh, for checking your blood sugar. So this is one of the ICT application. Okay, so uh, this is another one, blood sugar testing machine. Why? It is for testing the blood sugar level, right? So mostly it is used at homes. Nowadays it is used everywhere, but remember this. Then, 
Yes, blood pressure testing machine. You know, blood sugar and blood pressure. These are the two important parameters in terms of our blood, right? Everyone uh, has to focus on these two devices, two, I mean, uh, factors, right? Blood sugar, uh, blood pressure. So even for checking your blood pressure, you had to go to the labs and hospitals years ago. But now things changed, right? While you're at home, you can check your blood pressure uh, by using such devices. You know, these are wearable devices. You can wear that on the wrist, right? And uh, all you need to do is press a button. That's enough, right? You don't need to have a big technology, right? You need to be an expert in oper operating such thing. So just press the button and it, it starts working and maybe within minutes, it shows the reading. And you can check your uh, blood pressure level uh, by using such device, okay? So I think nowadays this is used in even in hospitals also, but very cheap, right? Again, it looks like uh, the price of, uh, I mean, blood sugar, uh, blood sugar testing machine, maybe a little expensive than blood sugar testing machine, but still uh, affordable, right? You can buy that. So this is called blood pressure testing machine, okay? It is for checking your blood pressure, okay? Everything is a device or everything is an application of ICT. Right, uh, then uh, take a look at this one. Cardiac screening machine. We already discussed about ECG, electrocardiogram. That is the device which shows uh, the, the heartbeat on a, on, a, on a screen or maybe on a paper. So we can simply say that ECG is for examining your heartbeat. But sometimes ECG, is, is not sufficient to get a good understanding or good conclusion about your heart heartbeat, about your heart function. So in that case, doctors recommend for cardiac screening. So here, the heart function, listen to me, the heart function will be screened on a display or will be displayed on a screen. So as you can see here, the heart functioning of this patient is displayed on a screen directly. But ECG never shows that. ECG shows the heart function only as a graph or something, as pulses, as signals. But here, this can show your heart function directly on the screen. So doctors easily check it, right? Because the, uh, the doctors can, I mean, can view that how that, uh, I mean, uh, blood circulation is there, how the heart uh, uh, pumps, right? So everything can easily be seen on the screen. So it may be very perfect when it comes to heart uh, screening or heart monitoring. Okay, I will show one, uh, one more video clip. Have a look at this. Then only you can get some idea. Have a look at this. Many high school athletes are already reporting for practice this week, gearing up for the fall season. Most can't even play until they undergo a physical. Some parents are taking it a step further with a heart screening. As education reporter Aaron Cargyle explains, finding problems before hitting the court or field can save lives. The Heart Hospital of Austin, a popular place Saturday. High school athletes ready for doctors to check their hearts. I get you to lay down on your back. Freshman Peter Linhart will be playing basketball and baseball at St. Michael's Catholic Academy. Pretty good. I guess. I mean, I don't want to be caught. Now, see, as you can see, that uh, heart functioning is, is visible on the screen. Right, so now it, it shows how the heart is working. Okay, let's, I mean, continue. Okay. <laughs> his parents aren't worried about his skills either, but there are questions about his health because Peter was adopted from Russia as a baby. We have very limited family medical history. We'd heard about, you know, previous stories where athletes who look perfectly healthy suddenly dropped, you know, on the court. We're looking at the wall function right here. Cardiac specialists are specifically looking for signs of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a thick. See, it is a, I mean, a zoomed image. You can see that. 
So now the heartbeat is directly visible, right? Uh, so see how the heart, I mean, functions. Beginning of the heart muscle that can cause cardiac arrest. This is what's called the four chamber view of the heart. Dr. Paul Pagley and, uh, says it can affect one out of every 500 people. But Peter. It really looks like a normal heart. Is not one of them. The Linharts know there are other parents here who have received different news. All right, so. So especially for the people who engage in sports and other athletic uh, related activities must be uh, scanned or must be I mean examined using such a cardiac screening machine or cardiac screening device because you know sometimes ECG uh, fails to provide perfect result. So in that case it may be the best device. okay So cardiac screening machine displays the function of the heart on the screen. Okay, so this is cardiac screening machine. All right, so these are some of the devices. There may be more than these devices, but again, I, I have to stick with the book. I don't want to bring so many examples here, but these are more than enough. So let's see the examples. So let's see the applications of ICT in medical. So we started with uh, those two scanners, MRI, CT, right? Magnetic resonance imaging and uh, CT or CAT, computer axial tomography or computer tomography. I, I explained briefly explained about both of them, and then we want uh, we went uh, went on to take uh, the other one uh, ECG, well known device, electrocardiography. Uh, electrocardiography. It is for uh, examining your heart. Then we took EEG, electroencephalography. It is for examining your brain, right? Then we took those two familiar devices, uh, blood sugar testing machine and blood pressure testing machine. These are found in uh, almost every home nowadays, right? And also we took the cardiac screening machine. That is very important, right? So these are some of the devices, most common, uh, dev commonly used devices in medical field, right? Other than these devices, I must explain one technology in medical that is also, uh, I mean, needs ICT, very important one. So let me explain that technology now. So this is telemedicine. Right? So we have a technology uh, in medical called telemedicine. So let me explain in detail because telemedi telemedicine is something uh, which is often asked in exam and also you should understand because uh, we are living in a in a world which which is used which uses ICT everywhere right so we should understand look so in simply telemedicine means i give a very short idea first telemedicine is treating the patient from far distances how treating patients from far distances. You know, the term tele is tele focuses on far distances, telephone, right? So telemedicine means treatment from far distances. That may be the very short idea behind. But suppose if you ask to write the definition for telemedicine in exam, please don't write such brief one because I, I mentioned that one for your understanding, okay? But let me modify my answer. Uh, okay, before that, I, I try to explain how telemedicine takes place. So how telemedicine is conducted, right? Once I finish, I will uh, uh, take that, I mean, definition. You know, in telemedicine, I already told you that it's a kind of uh, treatment. So here in telemedicine, the patient may be in one place, doctor may be in another place. The doctor who is going to, I mean, uh, treat that patient should be in another place. The distance between these two people may be hundreds of kilometers, even thousands of kilometers possible. So here they use ICT in order to do the treatment. ICT is used there, some devices, maybe internet. So they use such one for treating. So doctor may be at his place or maybe in a hospital with some facilities. And maybe the patient is in nearest hospital because he needs some technologies there. So it is very tough uh, to treat when he's at home, right? So he has to be brought to the nearest hospital. 
and doctor may be in another hospital. In both sites, there may be some technology, some devices. More importantly, they use internet. So with the help of internet, the doctor can, can easily, I mean, check the patient because there may be uh, web cameras and other things. Visually, the doctor can uh, see the patient and also uh, monitor his uh, activities, symptoms, and do some sort of treatments. Look here. Maybe in, in telemedicine, in the patient end, right, in the patient side, there may be some doctors, maybe nurses, and some medical staff there because to pass some information to the particular uh, doctor. Maybe let's say he's a surgeon or something. So he is an expert. That may be the reason why he has to, I mean, treat that patient. So don't think that the uh, don't think that the pay, I mean, doctors who are in the patient end can uh, do the treatment. They cannot. That may be the reason why they approach the doctor who is in another end. So now these doctors or maybe nurses with uh, patient may pass some of the information to the doctor. Maybe some uh, some parameters of the body like blood pressure, right? Some other things must be passed. Even the doctor who is in another end can check some of the body parameters like heartbeat, right? Heartbeat can be checked using stethoscope, right? Uh, internet, through the internet, the signals can be transmitted to the doctor. So something can be okay, but some of the thing has to be uh, observed by the medical staff and passed to the doctor. So now by looking at the symptoms and some parameters, the doctor can suggest the treatment, can suggest the method for treatment because here doctors are there, right? So this may be the simple idea behind telemedicine. Even with the help of telemedicine, you know, some uh, surgeries also, not only minor surgeries, even major surgeries also uh, possible, right? It, is, it, 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 it was there in the past, successfully underwent some of the major surgeries in the past. I tried to explain briefly, uh, but uh, they are called telesurgery. Have you heard the word telesurgery? So surgery from long distances. So they use some robotics and other things. So using the robotic technology, they, they use it. If you are interested, just I mean, Google it or go to the YouTube and find it. There may be videos uh, about telesurgeries, right? So maybe with the, with the patient, uh, there may be robotics with technology. The, 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 the surgeon may be in another part, right? The surgeon may instruct the, I mean, uh, robotics in order to carry out the surgeries. Surgeries can be possible. This is telemedicine. So now see ICT contributes a lot. Look, the, the, even the, the doctor who has to treat the patient is nowhere near. He is in thousands of kilometers away. But with the help of ICT, internet, and some other devices, he can uh, do that. This is called telemedicine. So simply, we can define the term uh, telemedicine as it's it's a it's a it's a treatment which uses ICT, right? Uh, ICT, where the doctor and patient are physically detached, right? Doctor is in one place. The patient is in another place, right? They are physically not in one place. So they use ICT for treatment. So if, when it comes to the definition for telemedicine, make sure you include three things. Again and again, I, 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 I mean, uh, focus on such thing, don't memorize. Just take the points. So here, when it comes to telemedicine, you must mention that it is a treatment or maybe a uh, kind of treatment that is important include that point in your definition you must include that the doctor and the patient are in two different places that is important that is the second one more importantly your definition includes ah, ict is used or internet and some other ict application is used so try making your definition by using these three points what are three points it's a kind of treatment. Doctor, patient are physically separated. 
they use ICT for, uh, I mean, carrying out that treatment. If you, com uh, I mean, compose these three, definitely that, that would be a meaningful definition. No one expects to give the same definition as given in the book. Okay, so this is called telemedicine. I tell you, or I will show one more video here to get some idea. Look here. with the continued doctor shortage and the multiple demands okay, maybe placed upon physicians, a system like it this is difficult for physicians to deliver right? care as the need arises. Telemedicine can help with this. And telemedicine are connected allows with the computer. a remote physician so to make an evaluation of a patient a in order system. to address like medical this. problems this as the they patient arise. Is. Treating patients on site appropriately you can see using that. clinical guidelines and avoiding unnecessary this transfers in the patient to the ER not will not improve the, outcome, in the, decrease uh, health care costs, and improve clinician and patient satisfaction now you can see that the patient is sitting in front of the doctor doctor is compared the eye your blood work also came back and it showed that your white blood cell count is a little elevated at 12. so what uh, the doctor is doing is uh, he is asking some questions uh, towards the patient because he needs some information he is asking Temps 99, blood pressure 105 over 60, respirations 15, pulse is 88. Now, this doctor, right, the doctor with the patient is giving some parameters of his uh, of her body to the doctor, like the pressure of her body, right, and some other information given. Maybe doctors or nurses are there. And her O2 sat has been running 90 to 91%. Okay, I think she can benefit from some nasal cannula O2. Okay. Uh, what we need to do in order to treat this material, <coughs> you need to be on IV antibiotics for at least several days. And you will also need a nebulizer, which we need to do several times a day. Now, we usually do this in the hospital, so we can certainly admit you to the hospital if you like. We do have another option, however. Now he is giving some instruction to the doctor, right? The doctor with the patient is receiving some instruction. Maybe those instructions for both patient and the doctor. But after listening to the uh, parameters of the body, that, uh, the doctor, I mean, has some has some conclusion, right? So he is delivering some. And now have a look at this. When she gets out of her environment, so. If that's possible, that would be great. Be able to treat her like this. Great nurse. Good. Very good. Now look here. The doctor is checking the, uh, I mean, uh, heartbeat, right? The the pulse is checked, but directly to the internet. It is connected. The stethoscope is connected to the internet. So now. Lively, that doctor can check it. Okay. Have you understood? The signals are passed through the internet, so that particular doctor can monitor such thing. Okay. So this is a simple idea for telemedicine, uh, but you know, telemedicine is beyond that. As I told you earlier, even telesurgery is also possible. Okay. So it's enough. This is called telemedicine. But don't forget my three points in your definition. Okay. So these are some of the most important things in health sector. So hope you understood all these things. These are nothing, right? It's too easy to remember. But I want you to remember the function for every device. That's more than enough. But when it comes to telemedicine, try understanding something in detail, right? As I mentioned earlier, like uh, surgeries are possible with the help of robotics. So it looks like this. In one end, the surgeon is there. With the patient, robotics are there. So the doctor, I mean, transmits the signals uh, as instruction for robotics. Robotics uh, does the rest. It can uh, undergo the surgery, right? So enough. So these are the things related to uh, health. So in the next class, we can take 
the other one like i mean transportation or education so if you have any questions ask me is there any problems in understanding or if you have any clarification needed uh, ask me. does anyone have no right so i hope that you all understood right so it's enough for today uh, we will meet in another class okay thank you